Wow! Did you enjoy the lacing lesson? Don't forget to give yourself a check. Everyone should practice lacing because it's so much fun and so useful. Let's make another set of lacing boards. What do you think? Do you have your three worksheets that have a penguin, a spider web, and a xylophone on them? That's a musical instrument, a xylophone. If not, have your adult helper get your worksheets for you. They can print them from your lesson page or pull them out of your book. Now get your scissors out of your supply kit and we can cut these out. I'm going to start with the penguin. Would you like to start with the penguin? Start from the edge. Cut a straight line. Follow the line. You can turn the page. I think it's easier to turn the paper with a page. Cut a straight line. Turn it again. Cut another line. And this is in the shape of a rectangle. It's a rectangle. Four different sides. One, two, three, four. But two sides are the same. So that's a rectangle. But two sides are the same length. One, two. These two are the same or same size, and these two are the same length, or same size. Next, now do a xylophone. A xylophone. Can you say, that's a mouthful. Can you say xylophone? I use my green scissors. Cut in from the edge and follow the line. As closely as you can. There, you're doing great. You can pause the video if you need to to catch up. It's okay. And there's our xylophone. And that looks like another rectangle. Rectangle. So we have a penguin and a xylophone rectangle. And last we have a spider web. Spider web. A square has four sides and they're all the same size. That's the difference. That's why one is a square and one is a rectangle. Let's cut out our square spider web. And you can set your scrap pieces to the side or throw them away so they don't get in your way. Now we can get our crayons together and we can start coloring the penguin. Will you color your penguin with me? What color should we make our penguin? You can choose any color you want. The penguin looks cold. I'm going to choose blue. Blue for my penguin. You can choose any color you want. Take my blue crayon and color my penguin blue. It's cold. Burr. Blue. Try to stay between the lines. He's a bright blue penguin. And go up and down and around. Color his arms blue too.
Then we can get a different color if we want. We can use a yellow color to color his belly. A yellow belly. A yellow belly penguin. Go up and down. And pause the video while you get your crayon if you want. Pause it any time you want. Just don't forget to start it again. We can color his nose or his beak yellow too. And we can color his feet yellow way down there. Top, bottom. Yellow feet. There. We have a blue and yellow penguin. After that, we can color our spider web. We can get a purple crayon for our spider web. Color it just like that. I'm going to color around the middle. I'm going to color the middle a different color. Do you want to color the middle a different color? Then start on the outside while you think about it. Go up and down and all around. What color should we color the middle color? You can choose any color you want. Try to stay between the lines. You could color these different colors if you wanted to. I like purple. Do you like purple? If you don't have purple, you can choose a different color too. It's okay. Choose whatever color you like. There! Most of my spider web is purple. Most means almost all of it. And then we can color the middle green. A nice green color. Green! The green. Green in the middle. That is the middle. Last is our xylophone. Let's color our xylophone. Go with green. Try to stay between the lines. The top is green. We can color the top green. I'm going to choose a different color for the next one. Red. We can use a red crayon for the next one. How many of those do we have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can color one, two, three. Number three, blue. Isn't that nice? Those are pretty colors. We can use orange for the next color. Do you like orange? Orange is bright, very bright. I'm not going to color this one. I'm going to use that, make that a different color. I don't know what color yet. I want to think about it. There, orange. This one, one, two, three, four, five. Number five, I'm going to color green again. You can use green if you like. That would be nice. And then red. Do the next one red again. And that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six. What's after six, do you know? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll go with blue for number seven. And you can hold down the paper to make it easier to color so it doesn't move with your other hand, like I am. See this hand? It should make it easier for you, too. That way it doesn't go like this. And then this one will be orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number eight is orange. See how many different colors you can use? Isn't that nice? We're learning all about colors and shapes and numbers. We can color these yellow. Would you like to color these yellow? Try to stay between the lines. This is going to be a tricky one because the lines aren't very wide or small. Let's say small. And then color these circles yellow too. I have a little orange on the bottom of my yellow crayon. Can you see that? There. Your xylophone has lots of different colors. We can get our contact paper out. And we are going to laminate these to, to keep them safe so we can use them. It helps make them stronger. Remember how we did this? We can go that way. Or another way we can do this. We can go this way. Let's go this way today. Remember, you leave a little bit on the edges. That way when we put them together, they stick. This is probably easier to do it this way. And then cut on the edge, go on the outside of it. And go in a straight line, or as straight as you can. Go all the way to the top. We want two pieces about the same size, so we'll do it again. So you hold it down again like that. Remember to have a little bit on the edges. This is the edge or the sides. Have some on the sides. That way they stick and go in a straight line. Might be easier if you remove your xylophone or your cutting. You to know how much you need. Remember, leave some space on the sides. We can start it a little bit like that. Once we start it, we can move that. The way we don't accidentally cut it. And it's out of the way. We can put it on again and do it again. We have our piece. We can open it up and pull it apart like that. Have the sticky part up, sticking up towards your fingers so it doesn't stick to the table or your desk. And then get your paper, lay it across like that, leave a little bit up at the top, and gently set it down. And then once it's down, 
slide your hand across it from the middle to the outside to help it stick. And we can do it again. So find the corner, peel it apart, lay it down, it will go the same way. This is a rectangle. Start at the top and pull it tight at the sides. This is a side and this is a side. And if it sticks wrong, it's okay. Pull it back up. And there we go. Start at the top. Put it together. And if you need your adult helper, it's okay. But lay it down and go down gently like this. So they stick together. And then start at the middle and go to the outside. And then once we have that, we can trim it. Remember, you want to leave a little bit at this edges so that they stick together. That helps protect them. And then cut off the extra with your scissors. And there, our xylophone is done and ready. Now, our spider web. We'll do it the same way. And our spider web is a square. I find it easier to start a little piece and then move it aside and then cut a straight line or cut straight. But if you like to do it this way, you can go like this. And then peel it apart. And remember, on the first piece, put the sticky side up. This is down, and this is up. Up, down. And then stick your spider web on it. Remember, leave a little bit at the top and on the sides. And push down. Again, you can have your adult helper help you with this until you get used to it, until you get good at it. Go to the next piece, and this time the sticky side goes down, or this way. Put your top piece so it almost matches the piece underneath, and lay it down across it like that, and then gently go this way, and then go to the middle and go to the outside. The whole way around. Pushing gently. There. And then trim it. This is called trimming or cutting. Cut away the extra. Remember to leave a little bit on the edge. See how there's a little bit still there? And last we have 
the penguin. And the penguin is a rectangle. Remember what the rectangle is? It's four sides. Two sides are the same length. Same length. Lay it out like this. Like I said, it's easier for me to start it a little bit and then go in a straight line all the way to the end. Remember, leave a little bit on the sides. And you can get some help if you need it. Did you remember? To put the sticky side going up. And then peel the next piece. And which side does the sticky side go? Did you remember? The sticky side. See that sticky? It goes down. And go on top. Make it match at the top. Go down like that, push down gently, go from the middle out to your edges and trim your penguin. Nice job. there. Now we have our penguin lacing board. So we have our penguin, our spider web, and our xylophone lacing boards. It's time for the hole punch. Let's start with the xylophone. Remember we have the little holes we have to punch out with our hole punch. Do you remember how to use the hole punch? We had a video about that. You find a hole, put your hole punch on it, but what you're trying to punch a hole in between the bottom and the middle piece, just like that. And then you squeeze. Find the next hole. One, two. We got two holes. Let's get this one. Three holes. What hole is this? Did you say four holes? You can almost reach. Here, we had to push a little bit. Let's see if we can reach this one. Now, we talked about this before. If you have a smaller hole punch like we do, if you have a smaller hole punch, you can bend it like this with a circle just a little bit and then take your hole punch and go like that. See, you have a hole. Some hole punches are bigger than others. And that's okay. That's how you do that. If you have a little one, like I do. Now we'll do penguin. I'm going to get all the holes that I can reach on the edge with my hole punch. Now 
There. Now we'll do the rest like this. Here, now we have our penguin lacing board. Last, we can do our spider. Now you might want to empty it out because we're getting a lot of pieces in there, a lot of little circles, and make it works better without all those circles in there. And remember, if you have one like mine, you just pull that bottom, like I showed you before. Okay, let's find all these little circles. Start with the ones we can reach. Almost, almost. Okay, now let's go like that. That's a lot of circles. There, now we have more of our very own lacing boards. And since we're done, we can keep them neat, we can clean them up, and we can put them away with the other lacing boards that we made. They can go in just like that. 